Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. You know what today is, right? Today is the hashtag Dollar Tree Challenge uh, reveal that is being hosted here by mom to create And of course, Miss Janet's link will be in my description box below. We've been doing this for a couple of months now. And what it is, is um, two different um, challenges going on so one month we do greeting cards next month we do an altar item this month it is to create a greeting card solely using supplies from Dollar Tree so that means that we cannot um, use our fancy dyes we cannot use our beautiful uh, sentiment stamps none of that so I thought I pulled all the supplies I used out, but I did not. And of course, there goes Loki. As always. Um, oh, okay, so I did put that out. So this time around, um, as I was trying to catch up in my YouTube um, channels that I am subscribed to, um, Elsa, um did like an update video and mentioned that crafty butterfly flowers is back yeah so if you don't know who she is you need to go check her out because she's been off for a little bit but she's back doing videos and of course i go over and i see a tutorial that she put out so i had to try it and i thought it'd be a great one to uh use for this month's um dollar tree card challenge so let me just start with what i use so of course i use the poster board that i've been using throughout all of these um i did use um of course the glitter paper and the green um dollar tree and i don't have the packages but dollar tree has these folders and they have them in a variety of colors they have them in red orange and yellow uh, were the ones that were at the Dollar Tree I went to. So I used the yellow. And you can see how I cut it up. So that's what I used. They also have the um, metallic paper. And it's huge, guys. So I'm just going to turn it around. I cut it down to what I needed to use. So it's big, it's big, it's big, it's big. It's the posters. And here is the label. So this is from Dollar Tree. And I love my gold. So I, I don't need to say more than that, right? You guys know I love my gold. Um, I did find this poster stickers peel and stick. I love the balloons, the bubble effect. And these are the decorative edges that teachers use to decorate their borders, their post, their um, boards. So you can see how I cut it all down. Um, I did use um, from the Happy Planner that was available. This one's the seasonal from Dollar Tree. Some of our Dollar Trees had it. I did use some sentiments from the birthday page. So you can see those there. That's my remaining poster board. And then this was the sticker set that I used. You know, guys, I love my cactuses. Super cute. This was gifted to me. So I had the opportunity to use them. So excited. All right. So those were the supplies. And then this is the tri-fold easel card, I think is what she called it. Tri-easel card. Anywho. So you can see, this is the poster board that I use. So it's really thick. Sorry about the sirens, guys. It's New York City. Um, so for my first layer, I use the green. And then I use the um, folder to be able to stick my uh, border strips on. And then all I did was cut it you know, stick it down, cut off the excess. And because it has this effect to it, the wavy effect, all I did was for my next piece, I lined it up where the curve met the curve. 
and then try to get it as close as possible. That's why I decided on using the yellow folder. So even if a little bit of yellow peeked through, it didn't matter. Um, I didn't um, go crazy trying to line up the bubbles because just on first glance, they don't all align. Um, so that was my um, second and then my final layer. So that was like my decorative paper. And then I used these cute little um, cacti here in the front. They just seem super fun, like a bunch of girl pals just hanging out together. Um, it does have a 3D effect. So this one is popped up on dimensionals and so is this one on the pot. And then when you open it, you get the second layer. And then this is where I use the banner from the sticker book. I don't know if you can, it's focusing. I use another little girl cacti um, surrounded by balloons. And then this one goes up. And then right there it says, happy birthday. And then when you raise that one up, it says, yay. So this is the tutorial that I followed from Crafty Butterfly Ferris. It was really, really easy to follow, guys. Really, really easy. So this is what it looks like when it's completely open. And you can see the layering effect. So you have your base and then you have all your flaps are added on as you go. So I have my base, I add on my first flap, add on my second flap, add on my third. And it seems kind of chunky because it is on poster board, but very cute to display in your desk or on your desk or somewhere in your house. I think this would be so fun. Um, it's a gift to someone. I think I'm gonna do this again. Like I said, it was really, really easy. So Miss Crafty Butterfly Farris, thank you so, so much for such an easy tutorial to follow. Um, and I definitely will be making more of these. So that is my Dollar Tree card guys for the hashtag dollar tree challenge hosted here by mom to create of course a link to both their channels will be down in my description box as always stay blessed stay healthy stay safe and i'll see you guys at the next one bye